Hi, it's Lee here. I'm going to Momogami a couple of pieces of paper, so I just thought I'd film it so you can see how easy it is to do. I've got a couple of pieces of paper that I want to um, Momogami for my journal that I'm working on. Um, this is a piece out of a scrapbook pad. It's only single-sided. I've been using it as a, um, as a wipe-off sheet, really, and I've been trying to make myself some carve some rubber stamps so I was trying it out on here. Um, this I don't think I would ever use that it's like a really close-up view of bark and I thought if it was momogami it might be more useful. This one is a piece of watercolor paper and um, I thought well I'd just use use these things 2023 is my year for using my stuff so I'm really trying to make a concerted effort to use up what I've got and not buy anything else the only thing I'm going to buy is if something breaks like um, I don't know scissors or my cutter or something and glue obviously we'll be buying more glue or if I run out of a particular ink they're the only things I'm going to buy this year um, anyway so I'll start with the piece of watercolor paper and to start the momogami process off you just fold in the sides so you just need to be a little bit um, don't go at it like a bull in a china shop just give a little bit of respect to the paper and remember that it will get fragile if you um, are a bit too rough with it so Bend in the sides to start with, and that's our first lot of scrunching done. I hope that reflection's not too bad. I might get a brown piece of paper and put it down on the desk. Oh, I've just got a shopping bag that I <laughs> tried to cut, and I couldn't find my scissors. I don't know where my scissors are gone. Anyway, here we go. So I've done that once. Now, I'll do this a few times. This is just to break the surface of the paper and get it soft enough so that you can knead it. So, do that, open it back up, and then repeat. I'm going to do that a few times just to get the initial stiffness out of the paper. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this process, like a couple of things that can aid the paper. The traditional way that the Japanese used to do this was to use cornstarch syrup. Cornstarch syrup? Cornstarch something not a syrup. Um, I don't know what the word for it is. It was a liquid made out of cornstarch that binds the paper fibers together to stop them. Oh, it just makes the paper stronger, I think. Um, alternative ways that people do it these days is to use oil, which I really do not like using and to use hair conditioner or lotion like a um, hand cream something like that i um, prefer not to use any of those i like to just leave the paper natural starting to get a little bit softer now and I think it's at the stage where I can really start to knead it so another thing I like to do is to just gently go around and work the edge of the paper because that's where you'll find that you haven't um, you know that's where it needs it basically it, it, it always seems to miss a little bit around the edge when you do the initial folding bit so I'm going to do this a few times, being really careful not to tear the paper because the edge is vulnerable. You just need to keep in mind 
you know, it is a piece of paper that you're working with. It's already a lot softer than it was to begin with. open that back out again. I think this particular pattern on this paper, the watercolour, is going to look really nice when this process is finished. So I'm going to start kneading the paper and this is where at this point you would be adding lotion or oil if you're going to use it. I'm not going to. Just going to keep keep it natural. Okay, so I'm going to work this a bit more and speed through it for you. quite soft now and I, um, I don't know if you notice before the noise it was making but listen to it now when I crumple it up it's losing its crunch and it's pretty much to the point where I think I really don't want to work it too much more so I've probably been doing it I don't know maybe five minutes and it doesn't feel like paper anymore. It's beautiful. Can you see all the wrinkles in there? If you were to take, like if you wanted to distress it with ink, um, your ink would just catch on all the the, uh, the raised bits on that paper. Just gonna give it a couple more and then I'll leave it and do the other one. Uh, you will get sore hands doing this. Is it? If you have arthritis or um, anything that makes your fingers and hands hurt, this will be quite painful if you do it for any prolonged periods of time. Sometimes the paper can hurt your hands too. Yeah, that doesn't sound like paper anymore, does it? How beautiful does that look? I'm really happy with that. Quite strong. Okay, put that to the side and I'm going to work on this bit of scrapbook paper. Um, I don't think I'll bother cutting that edge off. You can hear it now. Just fold in the edges to start with. Which side you have up.
is the bit I find the most boring. Getting this first look of um, softening done. Actually, don't mind the the kneading bit. It's quite relaxing. broken up enough already for me to start working on it. Now it's not as strong as that other piece of paper so I just need to tread carefully while doing this edge because it will tear pretty easily and just work my way all the way around. I usually go around a couple of times. and the sound that it makes now sounds completely different to the way it did before okay I'm just going to get into the kneading in this it doesn't doesn't make the noise it made before does it it looks beautiful it you know it reminds me of Alice elephant skin so I love the way that's worked out and that's I mean you could work it more I'll probably spend about five minutes on each of these pieces of paper now that was um, this one was about 200 gram or 200 GSM watercolor paper blank on that side I love that I love the sound it makes small things amuse small minds don't they <laughs> oh dear yeah so they're ready for me to use in my book they look nice together too I love that so I'll probably make uh, possibly a pocket or use pieces of this in collage in my nature journal and uh, yeah so that's it that's it that's, so that's the basic the um, the basic concept of Mamagami okay so I hope that video has been helpful for you I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already subscribed turn on the notifications and give me a thumbs up leave a comment if you've got any questions just put them in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, cheers from Australia. Hooroo. Bye. Bye.